Hello everyone, we just finished our debate. We're waiting for Rob Ford to answer us a few questions. We just interviewed Tori and Olivia Chow. I think we are going to have a very unusual uh, voting uh, October 27. Please stay tuned with Las Perlas TV. I was particularly impressed at the uh, study we saw presented at the beginning talking about how much uh, our Spanish communities, our Latin communities want to get involved in their city. And uh, that was uh, good for me to hear that because I think in the end, while there's certain things we can and must do when it comes to attracting new jobs, especially uh, making sure there's proper housing, making sure we have the transit to let people to get to jobs, um, we need the communities to be actively involved as well to make sure we understand their needs uh, you know, completely. And so I'm very, very glad we had this evening tonight. I thought it was very constructive and very positive. Thank you. I feel very good. Uh, I feel that I was able to talk about the things that matter most, the people where there's affordable housing, good jobs supporting the families uh, that's what uh, what new immigrants want to have a better future for their children and it's disappointing to hear from the other mayoralty candidates that they really have no goals and timetables no plan whatsoever uh, just empty words a lot of wish list uh, in support of the Latin American community if you will be a mayor what was the what will be the first thing to do in office in office, uh, given the Pan Am Games is coming, I think it's really important to make sure there's good jobs for the Latin American community, number one. N and, and I think the next thing I would do is to start building affordable housing. Because if too much of our rent goes to pay, uh, pay the rent, pay the housing costs, too much of our salary goes to pay rent, and by the end of the month, there's nothing left for groceries, nothing left for the kids. So if we lower the housing costs, then people would have a better quality of life, children would have a, a better support in the families, and then the small businesses, more people go and eat and purchase things. That would be economic boom for the entire community. They've known me for a long time. They know my work. Uh, um, supporting the Salvadorian refugees program in early 80s, uh, the Chileans uh, before that. Uh, I worked hard to uh, fight against uh, imposing a visa on people coming from Mexico because I don't think that's fair. And I've done a lot of work trying to reunite families, uh, especially saying yes to refugees that are leaving a domestic violence situation. I've done a lot of work with the Latin American community when I was a member of parliament. And now I, I know that uh, they, they trust me in delivering best result for them and a better city for themselves and for the children, especially like this one. Right. What will be the first thing to do for the uh, poor communities, for the newcomers, when you get into office? The first thing is make sure they have a job. Make sure our economy is strong. There's one immigrant that I've ever met that's come to this city that says, I don't want to work. Everyone wants to work. They're very hardworking people. They want to put roots into this community. They want to be able to provide for their families. And if you have my friends over there raising taxes, ripping up the roads, causing traffic congestion, companies won't open up here if they raise the taxes. So I'm going to make sure the taxes are very competitive, the lowest in, in the world right now. I'm going to make sure we build proper world-class transit, as they do in Madrid. You've been to Spain, I'm sure. In Madrid, world-class subways. Paris, world-class subways. London, Chicago, New York. That's what you need to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put money back in their pocket rather than keep taking it out because no matter what immigrant comes from anywhere in the world, they understand one thing. The worst thing you could do is give money to the government. Government wastes money. Put it in the people's pocket. I know if I gave you $100, you'd go out and somehow stimulate the economy a little bit. You give it to the government, it vanishes. That's what I believe in. And I believe in having an open door policy. Anyone needs help, no matter if they're a citizen or not, they can walk into the mayor's office at any given time and ask to talk to the mayor. And that's my policy. Thank, Thank you. you very much.